The reason why we buy a tube amplifier is that tube amps, well, a good one at least, are known to create a very airy holographic soundstage. The soundstage has more layers and it decays a bit longer. It's really pleasant to listen to. Now for bass with tube amplifiers, there's a certain roundness to it. Now tube amps are not known for low noise floor, speed and powerful bass. This is where they, they're not too good at. But what if I tell you you can get a tube amp with all those problems solved? Would it be not the best of both worlds? The reason why I'm confident the TS120 will appeal to a lot of people is that it has a low noise floor. You should not hear any hiss coming from the tweeter. The amp is fast. And finally, it will put most of the amplifiers in its price class and above to shame when it comes to bass and that includes solid state amplifiers. It is mind boggling how a tube amplifier can excel in the bass to the point it can beat solid state amplifiers. So far in most of the places I brought the TS-122, the TS-120 beats most of the amplifiers I've compared to in terms of bass as long as it is under $10,000. Does not matter if the other amp is solid state and has 1000 watts. The only exception is if we test it with mana pans. Then, okay, those 1000 watt class D amps tend to do better. So I asked the designer, how was he able to build a tube amp that can kick most other amplifiers ass in terms of bass punch? He told me he was able to create this reservoir of power by using four Japanese Chemicon capacitors on the market. Many two amplifiers, you will only see two of them instead of four. Most of them will have a value below 500 UF. Guess what? The Galion TS120 not only has four capacitors, each one is 1000 UF. That's more than double compared to what is on the market. Of course, as the designers told me, it's not just putting high value capacitors in. You need to know how to implement them well to create that reservoir of power. Now, I did notice the TS120 component seems to be oversized, like the choke, for example. I don't know if a bigger choke makes the amp sound better, but I like it when the components are big. So with his 30 plus years of experience, the designer has created something that exceed my expectations. And you're talking to someone who has listened to over a hundred amplifiers at my home. Now, the bass is different between the Special Edition and the Normal Edition. The Normal Edition bass is more thunderous, while the Special Edition is 90% 90 90 as powerful, but more nuanced. Now, for those of you who bought the Special Edition and worry that you're not getting that I can kick every amp's bass privilege, dude, man, even at 90%, it beats most of the amps on the market. This is how far ahead the Galleon TS120 is. All right, everyone, I'll finish the video with a first reaction video from Frederick. Now pay attention to what he said about the bass. Now I can't do a sound demo today because Lowick took uh, both of my amps. So I can't record a sound demo to show you the difference in bass between the TS120 and another $4,000 tube amp. Uh, maybe in the future, I'll just create a separate, separate sound demo. All right. Later. Hey guys, it's Thomas here. So today I'm at Frederick's place because uh, I wanted him to check out the Galleon TS120. This is the final version. I had tested the Galleon with the Poke 707 and Mr. 707 place, and that was the before final version. And uh, Frederick has been on my channel before, I know him for a little while. <coughs> Excuse me. And he has the Poke 707, the Kef R700. Uh, he plays the saxophone now. Uh, he has the Patos Logos. That's a today price, about five grand. Uh, that's uh, integrated amp, solid state, 105 watt, uh, class AB. That's for the, the amp section. And 6922 tubes for the front end section. He also has the Macintosh 2100. He has the Yachin EL34, uh, the MC10, I think. All right, guys, I'm going to ask him, Tell me about the bass. 30 watts. I told him this is a 30 watt amp, you know, compared to your Patos, which is a 105 watt amp. And by the way, the Patos bass can kick, man. I mean, it can shake the room with those poke audio. And then I play a bass heavy song, uh, Alan Walker Faded, just to show him the difference between the Galleon and the Patos. 
tell me what you, what was your first reaction when you heard the bass? I, w- I was impressed right away. I was quite, su- I think surprise is more the word mm-hmm. because I-, I thought it was not going to produce as much bass as the Patos, but mm-hmm. it was producing a better bass, mm-hmm. not just stronger. It wasn't really into that. It was about the texture in the bass, like uh, the, 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 s- the nuances. I-, I hate to use this word, but that's really what it is. It's like you can separate that sound. Mm-hmm. And not only that, but you-, you hear it with such a definition that's like, whoa. You know, it's the tightness, right? Yeah, yeah, tightness as well was very impressive, especially the control. I guess mm-hmm. be similar to that. Was it was really was it better than the Patos in that area. By the way, his Yachin is I think forty watts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right uh, around there. Something like that. Yeah. The Galeon we were running at thirty watts, right? So that's why I tell people that the the, the base on the Galeon is crazy. It'll put a lot of solid state amplifier to shame. And I was not kidding about that. And I enjoy seeing that first reaction from people. Whenever they power up, I put a bass heavy song, they're like, what the hell just happened? Like, you know, because tube amplifiers are not known for bass. Weakness is what's known for tube amplifier, right? Tight bass, punchy bass, solid bass, nuanced bass. This is not what tube amplifiers are known for. And yet, the Galeon, in that sense, can excel even against solid state amplifier. So, the mid range and the detail and the brightness. Let's go with that one. Yeah, but just quickly about the, the difference. That's the proof. The Galeon is the proof that the wattage, it's not really a good measurement of what the sound you're going to get out of the instrument because mm-hmm. the Yakin is higher wattage and the bass is it's night and day, you yeah, know, right. compared to it. So, that's. Mm-hmm. That's the po- I already knew that, but that's really like you see it for sure. Even 30 watts, mm-hmm. when it has proper transformer or whatever, proper output, mm-hmm. very impressive. Mm-hmm. I see. Yeah. Okay. So the, the, the let's talk about let's talk about the cla- uh, the, the the mid range and upper detail and tone control. Yeah. Okay. So first, let's say the voice. Mm-hmm. That's what surprised me about the Galleon. It was the bass mm-hmm. and the clarity of the voice. And when mm-hmm. you say I say clarity, it's like really like dissect almost. I don't know if it's a good mm-hmm. word, but that's what it is. Like this, this small detail inside of the voice, the singer, you can really feel it. Because I like to listen in the dark mm-hmm. and I really pay attention to those things. And with the Galleon, it was very revealing. Like mm-hmm. in the, the voice was really impressive. Um, what else? The, was it thin? Was it thin? No, no, it's, it's a full sound. Especially mm-hmm. the AB was even a fuller sound. I know a lot of people are going to like this kind of sound. Mm-hmm. For me, I preferred the, the Class A. Uh, and it wasn't because the bass was shy or nothing like that. Everything was present, mm-hmm. but the voice is what's really shine. I think somebody who gets this kind of amp, mm-hmm. especially in the Class A, that's the mid-range is going to be a, very impressive. And the highs are not too bright as well. You know, it's like, uh, and it's it's not dimmed down or dumb like uh, rolled, rolled off. off yeah. No, no, no. It's just, I find for me maybe like perfect. It's very similar to the Patos, mm-hmm. just slightly less. Mm-hmm. And that's what I like because I like to have those those high peaks, especially you listening to a violin or mm-hmm. or a sharp voice, but you don't want it to hurt your ear at the same time or feel like your sibling or. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't that, but at the same time, it wasn't like a rolled off sound when you're like, oh, I wish there was more high, you know, and you're looking for mm-hmm. an equalizer or something to, 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 to match the, the kind of high you're looking for. Mm-hmm. It was just, just good. So what don't you like about the amp? Okay, so for, so for me, and this, this is personal, but mm-hmm. the first thing is the blue LED. Oh. I listen in the complete dark mm-hmm. most of the time. Mm-hmm. So I'd have to put my stickers to block them, but... And, and the fact that I cannot see the volume number. Mm-hmm. Like the Patos, it gives you maybe at 50, 51, whatever. For me, it's quite important. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm sure you can figure out, you know, but it's mostly on those two things. Also, for somebody who listen in the dark, I mean, we tried it just now. Close off all the lights with his Puffers logos. He covered everything, and you hear the speakers disappearing, and then you just hear a big sound stage with the Puffers logos. We cannot do that with the Galleon because, you know, the tubes would light up the room, right? So that's the downside to it. All right, so uh, I just want to make a quick short video 
because you know I need to get honest feedback from everyone. Eventually, people who buy the app will also get give me feedback, right? And I understand that it's hard to believe the things I claim in the video. For example, you know, crazy powerful nuance based on a tube app. No one in their right mind will believe me. But as you start seeing videos, you're gonna see this recurring pattern. And I'll make a video to explain why does it has this much power in the base that no other tube integrator amp has. It's the way it was designed. So anyway, with that, I'll uh, finish the video. I also uh, will be making another video to talk about Federick's uh, system, just his system, and go check that out on my other channel. All right, guys, see you later.